folks, we're in Matt, Colorado for the Rutherford Farm Auction on March 26th. Did want to take a minute and give you a quick video on this 1037 bale wagon. Probably one of the cleanest 1037s we've had the privilege to sell. This little bale wagon is just in great shape all the way around. We do have the cab remote for you. You can see it right there. And so this would make someone a nice, nice little bale wagon if you needed it on your farm. So we're just going to kind of walk around and do a video so you guys can see it. Start up here on the hitch. Everything looks good on the hitch. We do have the hitch pin. You can see we've got the PTO shaft, takes a 540. You've got your oil reservoir right here on the front of the tongue. And you've also got the uh, cab remotes, as you can see, that run the, the bale wagon for you from the cab. If you didn't want the cab remotes, we do have the front of the uh, bale wagon, the shields that you could see. You could go ahead and put the old knob controls back on if you wanted to. But I think the bulk of us like to have the cab controls. It just makes it easier to run the bale wagon. So just show you a few things as we go down the side of this. If I see something that I think is a flaw or that needs pointed out, I'll sure do it for you. Looks like maybe we've done something right here on this pivot point on the trip arm on the first table. Looks like maybe they've welded that. So just be aware of that. This bail wagon does have the automatic tie. Again, it will operate from the cab with the remote. And so that, that makes it pretty convenient for you whenever you're running the bail wagon. We'll get down here and take a look at the frame. Uh, sometimes you'll see these bail wagons will snap on the frame and you'll have to weld them back. That is not the case on this bail wagon. The frame looks good on this little bail wagon. And so we'll, we'll keep on walking towards the back so you guys can keep looking at it. The second table looks to be in good shape. I don't see that it's been bent or broke or welded or repaired in any fashion. And again, it does have the automatic tie on the front. Normally where you'll see the most damage on these is on these corner posts on the front. You'll see that they'll hit a fence post with them or something and they'll break them and weld them. Not the case on this bail wagon. This bail wagon has not been damaged on either side of the loading rack that I can see. So that's why I say this is probably one of the cleaner bail wagons that we've had the privilege to sell. The tires on, on the back end here, they look to be in pretty decent shape all the way around. Um, they're showing some weather check, but nothing extraordinary. And then when, again, when you get to the push-off feet, normally you see those push-off arms bent all up because they've had a load fall on it or something. Again, not the case here. Those push-off arms look like they're good and straight. The load rack, the rolling rack on it looks good. Uh, you can see that it's got the hydraulic cylinder that would take it back up to the front after you dump the load off of it. So again, uh, everything looks to be in good order. Good metal sideboards all the way across this one. It's got all six tines across the top. This is a three wide, seven high bail wagon. So you'll hold about a hundred and let's see, that make it 105, I believe. 105 bales on this little guy, 104, 105. So again, just a good straight little bail wagon. Same thing on this side. You'll see a little weathering on those tires, but nothing extraordinary. And you can see that push off arm right behind the tires there is good and straight. And once again, when you look at the corners on these load rack uh, sideboards, they've not been welded. So unusual, because almost everybody, and I'm guilty of it myself, have caught a fence post at some point and had to re-weld those arms, but that is not the case. This is just a super clean little bale wagon. Get underneath here, you can see right up in there, that's the other point that you'll see a lot of breaks and damages on, is on the bale chute. It does not appear to be the case here. It does not appear that they've broken that and had to re-weld it, so again, a nice little setup, a good bale wagon. Bale chute looks to be in good shape. And again, we'll finish it up here on the front. You can see that they've not had to weld or repair right there at all. So again, guys, I think this is going to be one of the better 1037s you're going to come across. And sure enough, uh, a nice little bale wagon. I don't see a lot of rust. It's been outside. Don't get me wrong. It's been outside, but it's not all rusted up and everything, guys. A pretty straight little 1037. Let us know if you have any questions. I'll see if there's another shot of this remote here for you. Let us know if you have any questions, guys, and if there's anything else we can get you information on this. But again, March 26th, we'll have this live and on equipment facts.